Welcome to the Midwest Monsoon, where the fun rains. Okay, so our purpose is to not have people drive two to three hours just to attend family fun. And we want something for people to do all year round. We want to be eventually be the most successful attraction in Fort Wayne. And we want to attract tourists from all around. Some strengths for human environments. Um, we would like to attract tourists, and we have restaurants inside of there, so they will help us gain more money. And also, it's a family trip, so when you can take your family, that's some of the human environments. And then some physical traits of it is where we chose for our building to sit is near the airport expressway. So when you drive past, like coming from the airport, you'll be able to see our building. And also, there's lots of houses around it, but it's enough space where we're not too close to the houses to disturb them. The competitors that we have are Pine Lake, and their last day open is on Labor Day, so that won't be a competitor. Splash House, and at the Splash House, um, the reviews show that most teams get bored, so we don't want that for our business. And the Caribbean Code, they say that there's not enough slides and entertainment for the people, so we want to give them something that they don't like. Sorry, I was reading. I was giving the second read. Okay, our location. Yep. Okay. Um, we've chose uh, 6705 North Huntington Road. Um, the right here in this area is where our building, like the water park part, is going to be. And like, there's going to be plexiglass, so you can be able to see inside the building. And then our hotel is going to sit right around there. So there's going to be a parking lot over here somewhere. And then we have a long corridor to go to the water park that's going to connect both the buildings. And you can click. Okay. And I've tilted it so you guys can see some of the things around our area. As you can see, there's some homes down here. There's homes on the outside, but right now we have enough room so we could work with the different landscapes and all that. Okay. This is our building design. This is the hotel portion. This would be the entrance where you walk into. And this big circle right here is going to be a fountain and slash monument. It's going to be wonderful. We're going to decorate it all up. <laughs> and then all through here, as you can see, is our hotel where like all the rooms are. And this building is actually six stories high. And then right here is like the part where it's going to connect the long corridor. And when you go down this long corridor, this like plexiglass, so you can see in this arcade on both sides. Why is you going down? There's going to be um, a restaurant and a lounge area over here. And then as you see over here, it's going to be where our gift shop and all that's going to be. And you're going to check in on these sides because it's going to be built in places where you can check in at. Okay. And that's the top view of everything and how it looks. Okay, and then this is our water park area. Right now, this is just the biggest pool we have. There will be many pools on the outside for like the little kids to go play. There's going to be big slides coming out the building and coming back in the building. And then um, we also have different activities to do in the water that we're going to have. And it's going to be like a big jungle gym type thing. Can you click? Alrighty. This is a top view of it. As you can see, it's a lot of space. It looks very tiny on here, but it's really huge. Also, it's about the biggest the building, the hotel. Okay, so for the general population, in 46809, we have about 8,226 people, which is very good for if you're considering this regular zip code. That was a generic zip code. I mean. There are 2,202 children in 46809, <coughs> which if you compare that to with the 8,000, that's about a quarter of the people living there have children. The median age is 41.4 years, which is like, if you're a parent, this is like, you, this will be an average age to have children. So, for that age, you would have, you have, you would have children. 
the average salary is $13,246, which is not enough to be considered rich, but enough to be considered living comfortably. For houses and condos, we have 4,169 houses living there. Robert? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so since we're starting from scratch, the building's gonna be around 800 million, and the land cost for how big our building's gonna be is around 600 and, well, 600,000. Um, to pay for like janitors and managers and security guards and lifeguards and stuff like that, there's gonna it's gonna be around a hundred thousand to three hundred thousand dollars, and I looked up the salaries for them, so that's how I got that. You can go ahead, Robert. Okay. The technology fees acquired uh, acquired like equipment for slides and arcades and also security cameras. I looked up the average amount for how much they're they cost, and that's how I got eighty-five thousand to around two hundred thousand dollars. Since we're having a restaurant and concessions and gift shops, I looked up how to well how much it's going to be to build a restaurant inside a hotel, and it's going to be around nine hundred thousand to a million dollars. The total for our whole business is going to be eighty-two to eighty-three thousand, eighty million. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So, with help of Roberts. Like we, we like made a branding what it, what our business would look like if we had a Facebook page. And as you can see here, we have hope. We have reviews from different people. We we based right here on like what places we base our business on. Um, and here's more info of what our business will be like. Whoops, sorry. And this is more more of our information, which is essential if you want to, if you want to make this live. Here's some more info up here. As you can see here, we have some competition, which is like I took pictures of Cedar Point, Kalahari, um, and like all these attractions, and I put them on here. And I took a picture of what of our location, put it on here. Go ahead, and here is some pictures of what our business is <coughs> based off of. This is like, we took these so we can have a concept of what we would be like. And this is our location right here. That's some more information up here. Um, let's go ahead, Roberts. Thank you for listening to our presentation. My first question is, um, I really like that you did demographic research. I think that that's important. I'm curious as to why you just focused it on the 46809 demographic. Well, why we, you said we focused this on 46809 because since there's an airport like located right next to it, we figured that people flew into the, flew into far away from 46809, that one of the first things they would see is our business, and that would attract, that would end up attracting more and more tourists. Okay, I think I, I understand your reasoning. However, when you're thinking demographics for your business, you have to think where you're going to be attracting customers from. So you're complete. You're competing really in a you know tri-state area. So you really want to look at the demographics a little bit bigger, because you know we really don't have we don't have water park in Fort Wayne. And I thank thank you for using this idea because that's mm -hmm. the one thing we as city employees, I'm sure John at Visit Fort Wayne hears all the time. Why don't we have a water park? Be great. Because you have to pack your kids up and go far. But you really, when you're looking at demographics, you need to look at a broader perspective of where you're going to be pulling those kind of people from. That'll up your numbers a lot. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. But I like that you gave a lot of attention to the neighbors in the area. Mm -hmm. One of the things we see, I work for the city of Fort Wayne, one of the things we see when new development happens is not often do people view that as a positive <laughs> when you live next to something like that. So I really like that you took the care to think about how you could make it fit in with the area and make sure people are happy. I think that's a really good thing that you did there. So I piggyback off that is um, you guys really hit home on the hotel. I mean, there was ideas, there were ideas in the riverfront development two weeks ago who wanted to bring in this cool idea and bring in tons of tourists, attract, uh, tourists but they didn't think about, okay, where are they going to stay? And you guys 
Right, that was a big part of the presentation, so mm -hmm. applaud you for that. Um, is there a um, maybe one ride you guys gonna is gonna promote as the biggest slide, or how's this gonna be different than the other water parks in the tri-state area? I think that I've been looking up rides and kind of making up my own type of ride that I would like to go on. And it's like a mile, a fourth of a mile long ride, but it's like a big old swirly one. So it's like really fun. Okay. I never really thought of it. That's like, great. To, to your point, they have you know, the biggest ride, the fastest ride. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm saying that it's, it's a water park, which should be cool in itself. If you guys focus on maybe having one really cool ride, that would you know, draw people from everywhere. So good job. Your idea reminded me of, especially when you said the ride will go outside, was uh, the Wilderness Inn in Tennessee, in the Forge, um, which is super fun. <laughs> and then um, the Great Wolf Lodge. So yeah. it sounded very similar. And you looked at outside ones. Did you consider the indoor? Because this is going to be an indoor one, yeah, correct? Yeah, I, I considered the indoor slides. Like, I thought of the younger kids and what their parents would allow them to get on because I have little cousins. And then I thought of the rides for, like, older kids because they don't want to be bored. On these, like they like thrill rides, and I know I like thrill rides, so I would like to have. Different